So, what do you think the leading determinant of your health and longevity is? What do you, what do you think it is? The way we eat, okay? What do you think? Okay? Look at the graph right here. As soon as it comes up. Behavior. 40% behavior. Genetics, environment, all these play a key factor. It says right here, U.S. spends 17% on the gross domestic, gross domestic product on health care. Two times other countries. U.S. is not healthier. All of this, all of this goes into it. Behavior, genetics, environment, medical care. All that plays a role. But your behavior, you said what we eat, how we act, that all plays a role into our health and longevity. So our goal for the physical resilience, to understand the link between physical and mental fitness and how it can improve performance, leadership, and overall health. Very important. Everybody wants to be healthy, right? Everybody wants to be healthy? Outstanding. So remember this when we're doing our goal. Who remembers this right here? Right? Super size me. He's a McDonald's guy, right? This guy for 30 days. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. That's all this guy ate. Was McDonald's. That's all this guy ate. They said by the 10th day, he's like, okay, you're starting to get a little overweight. The doctors were really, really cautioning him. Like, did you not need to do this? At the 20th or 21st day, he was almost on his deathbed. Like, dude, you cannot keep doing this, man. You're going to die. So 13% of people are obese and 58% are considered overweight. Are you kidding me? Nutrition challenge, okay? We have nutritional challenges. Manufacturing of processed foods. Change in composition based on change in diet, beef, poultry. So I'm allergic to tomatoes. Let me talk about processed foods. So I'm allergic to tomatoes. Fresh cut tomatoes, I can't eat them, okay? So when it goes into the factory, it comes out ketchup, tomato paste, marinara sauce, whatever, I can eat all that. The chemical makeup gets changed when it gets processed through the manufacturing process. So I can eat pizza, spaghetti sauce, all that stuff, which is cooked from tomatoes, but I just cannot eat fresh cut tomatoes, okay? High fructose corn syrup. The high fructose corn syrup, look at this, consumption rates match the weight gains. High fructose corn syrup doesn't register in your body that you're full, so you keep on drinking and you keep on eating. So when we drink a lot of soda, Okay? It doesn't register those fructose levels. So it always thinks that your body is full. Trans fats. You know, they, were, they did this during World War II to replace butter. You know, MREs have a 7 to 10 year shelf life. Those MREs, those meals ready to eat, they're good for 7 to 10 years. They just sit on the shelf. Peanut butter. Uh, hydrogenated, uh, hydrogenation solidifies the liquid oils. All those butters and stuff. It lasts forever. Ever find an old Dorito or something in your car? It stays there for a while. So what shapes our decisions? Do we, do we buy based on what we know? Do we buy based on what we lived on as a kid? What our parents bought us? What, what formulates our decisions on what we buy? Okay, cost. Everybody wants to save money. The outside of the grocery store, at, you know, the aisles, that's all, some people say it's all the good stuff, some people say it's all the bad stuff. Depends on how you look at it. A lot of the sugary stuff, you know, is all going to be on the outside. But the organic and the good stuff is all going to be in the middle, okay? So familiarity. Everybody likes Jif, right? Everybody likes Jif. I ate Jif as a kid. I was Jif peanut butter. The creamy, not, not, not the peanut, but the creamy. <laughs> Nutritional value. What tastes good. Nobody wants to eat rice cakes, right? Nobody wants to eat those. But there's a lot of health healthy foods out there that you can eat. Look, fashion, what's the new thing? Is it Kill Q10? Is it fish oils? Is it uh, the Atkins diet? Everybody did an Atkins diet. Um, is it a cleanse where you like cleanse out your body, take some pills and all this nasty stuff comes out of your body? Is it that stuff right there? This list right here, it's a never ending list. Is it the convenience? Is it just I walk up to the store, oh that's there, I don't feel like walking all the way to the back. So we buy based on these items right here. So what's in your coffee? Everybody likes coffee, right? What's in your coffee? Look, whole milk, look, cost per serving, calories, no of ingredients. Look at this chart. Who uses half and half? What's half and half? Half cream, half milk, half powder, nobody knows what it is. Look, 
creamer. Look at all this. Cost per serving, okay? But then look at the oil for the creamer. It's partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. But they don't tell you this stuff when you're buying it. Everybody, see now, Starbucks guys, now you're ruined for life. So whole milk, cream, all this stuff that you put in your coffee, look at all the nutritional calories, and look at all the percentage of fat and ingredients. So what would you choose? Would you choose the apple? Would you choose the applesauce? Or would you choose the apple pie? Depends on if you're doing McDonald's apple pie, right? Most of us would probably choose the apple. Mm -hmm. Choose the apple. Okay? So what's a supplement? So you have fish oils, multivitamins, vitamin D, calcium, and CoQ10. These are all the things that are healthy for you. We have websites that you can go on and figure out what's good for you. But that's the top five right there. Okay? Energy drinks. Oh, I love me some energy drinks. So I have a monster right here. Here's my monster. Okay? Gotta have my monster. Look at look at all this amp. Full throttle, monster energy, red bull, all that. Serving size 16. Caffeine content 160. That is more than most of those up there, except for the spike shooter, which I don't even know what that is. But Rockstar Energy, Red Bull, Monster Energy, all that. This is all of the caffeine content that's in there. Okay? But I gotta have my monsters, so I'm sorry. I'll take the sugar. You gotta have it. So, but you gotta read your labels. You have to know what you're putting in your body. If you don't put bad gas in your car, you're not gonna put bad gas in your body. Don't put bad gas in your car. You don't put bad food in your body. Okay? So remember that. Don't put bad gas in your car. Don't put bad food in your body. Thank you for your time.